the parties, there were parties, a lot of parties in uh, Sophia Town. It was a great party place. The, pro the, the, pr the problem was it was a bit of danger because there I was exposing myself because I was not legally allowed to go into Sophia Town. As a white, to, I was not allowed to go into Sophia Town. And I was concerned that if I went in there and I was stopped and questioned, and again, I'd go on the, the list. I'd be in, my, my name would be down in Pretoria, the capital, under this special branch, the police. So Bloke and I, and Lewis and Cozy, by the way, that time I met Lewis, who was another journalist, African, both African journalists, uh, on Golden City Post. I met Lewis, so it was Lewis and Bloke and I who were sort of going around everywhere. And again, they were the ones who solved the problem for me. Uh, it's always good to have people who know or live in the place to figure things out because they know the situation. They said, listen, whenever we go into Sophia Town, we'll sit in the back and you drive as if you, we're not with you and we're going to be your servants. You're bringing us back to, you know, to where we're living because the buses are not running. It's, it's after dark. So we had our story. We had a story when it came in and out all the time and with no problem. We were stopped one night. The police opened the, the boot, the, you know, the trunk of the car, looked in there looking for whiskey because there was a lot of smuggling. They thought maybe I was a, a bootlegger. They looked in there, nothing. And I thought they had taken my license number and then I was worried. So then from that point on, I started to be nervous about did they have their finger on me, because this is the first confrontation with the police getting my number. So it turned out that they didn't, because later on I was investigated by the special branch and they didn't have any information on me. So I was clean in the sense of when the special branch interviewed me, they knew nothing about me. So then it was, they questioned me thoroughly, asked me all, you know, and my financial rating, et cetera, if I could, uh, because by that time they knew I was trying to make a film. I had applied to make a film. But there was no evidence against me in terms of working there, except I had been on a, with Bloke, I had been on a, um, a queue at the bus station during a strike. And they said, what were you doing on that strike, uh, on that queue and, and during the bus strike? And I breathed a sigh of relief because I realized, well, if that's all they have, a, I'm f home free. And I said, well, I was, the, I was on the queue. I'm looking for my actors. I'm casting. That's the way I, I do it, which is true. That's why I was there.